Hi there, Bon Crowder with Math4.com here, talking about the Monty Hall problem. Now, the Monty Hall problem is a uh, from a game show called Let's Make a Deal, where he gave three doors. Here I have them represented by cards, playing cards. You have door number one, door number two, and door number three. Behind one of the doors is a car, and behind the other two doors are goats. And so what you have to do is you pick a door, and you say, okay, I'm going to pick door number one. And then the host, Monty Hall, will open one of the other two doors and reveal a goat. I tried to make a goat out of Play-Doh. It doesn't work so well. So we have a pink goat designated by the pink blob of Play-Doh with a G on it. And so now the question is, do you want to stay or do you want to switch? And many people will stay, as in shown recently on Mythbusters. The question really is, which should you do? What's better to do? So I'm going to talk about exactly what is better to do, stay or switch. And here I have the Time Machine DeLorean from Back to the Future. I have the pink goat and I have the brown goat. And so those are the three that I'm going to use. And for the time being, we're going to just put them to the side. So I'm going to use a mathematical probability tree, which means that on your first door choosing, you could choose the door with the car, or you can choose the door with one of the goats. So you could choose the car, you could choose the goat that's pink, I'm going to put a little P there, or the goat that's brown. So those are my three choices. Now I don't see that. This top tier is my pick. I don't see what's behind that door right now, but it's one of those three. Then the host will open. If I pick the car, the host is either going to open the door with the pink goat or the door with the brown goat. 50-50 chance, right? If I pick the door with the pink goat, the host could open the door with the car or the door with the brown goat. And if I pick the door with the brown goat, the host could open the door with the car or with the pink goat. So this is called a probability tree. And out to the off to the um, off to the side here on each branch we can write the actual probability which is always between 0 and 1. So because there's three options here we have a 1 in 3 chance of ending up with any of those on the first pick for the door. On these here once we've chosen one door there's only two doors left so the host has a 1 out of 2 chance and so on all 50-50. And then we multiply along the line to get our probability that I chose the car door and the host opened the pink goat door. So that's one third times one half is one sixth. And that's exactly the same all the way down, which is why a lot of people believe it doesn't matter if you switch or stay. Here's the key though. The host is not going to open a door that has the car behind it. Game over, fun's over, what's the point of it? So this one right here, after you choose the door that has the goat, the pink goat behind it, the host knows that you've chosen that door. The host is not going to jump in and go, okay, you've picked that one. Let me open this one. Gee, you lost. That's dumb. So this is not even possible. This one half here, get rid of my goats and cars. This is really a zero because the host is not going to do that, which means this is really a one. Likewise, if you choose the door that has the brown goat, he's not going to open the car door. He's going to open the other goat door which means these pieces here are really zero and one third 
and 0 and 1 third. So let's look at this. Here's the desirable, the car. You have a 1 in 3 chance from the get-go to choose the door with the car behind it. After the host opens his door, you still have a 1 in 3 because 1 6 plus 1 6 is 2 6 or 1 3rd. You still have a 1 in 3 chance. If you choose a goat, either the pink goat or the brown goat, on the first door open or the for first door choice, these are the ones he's not going to open, right? You want the car. So what's happening here is this one third chance is the chance that both of the goats got revealed. So it's a two thirds chance or probability, let's use the proper word, that you choose the goat and he opens a goat. Which means it's a two-thirds probability that if you switch, you get the car. Here, you only have a one-third probability that you got the DeLorean. Here you have a two-thirds probability. So that's why you always have to switch. This is Bon Crowder with Math4.com, here with the Monty Hall problem, and reminding you that math is not a four-letter word. <laughs>